What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to begin where we left off, we have uh, the, Mo the Mughal garrison at Copenhagen sailing out to attack Sigmund Peters, who is going to valiantly defend um, his position. I don't think it's going to be massive. There's going to be massive amount of uh, trouble here, but let's take him out. We got a lot of infantry that can do a lot of damage. The enemy have a lot of melee infantry, and I don't have quite as much artillery as I would like. So there's a potential we could get mobbed, but I'm confident of my men's ability to fire by rank. Let's form up appropriately. So let's put a strong component of line infantry up front. Create an infantry brigade on the right flank. Put an infantry brigade on the left flank. My hussar, my um, fusiliers are going to rapidly deploy howitzers, not howitzers, uh, stakes. Uh, did not take the correct unit. Then our grenadiers are going to strategically position themselves behind the lines, ready to counter charge any melee troops. The howitzers are going to open fire with carcass shot. So you guys both deploy stakes. Howitzers go after that garrison. Actually, no, where's a unit of Sikh warriors is what I wanted to go for. I wanted to pick a target just to make sure they hit someone. Yeah, Sikh warriors are the are ideal. You men on this flank can stretch out. I'm hoping this cavalry charging in from here will end up deploying. Will end up just rushing into my lines, and I can deploy. I can uh, drop my guys into square. Yeah, my howitzers aim for the likes of the Sikh warriors because everyone else generally should go down quite conclusively to my musket fire. They're pounding my line. Oh, actually, they're knocking out some of my general's bodyguard as well. So they're advancing straight into my army. Perfect. They changed their mind. I'm a fuse list stakes, went a hell of a long way. You chaps form square, you chaps form square. Get my fusiliers to form square just in case, but most of those camels will die charging into my stakes. And the square will definitely get them. I wanna get them I wanna get them knocked out sooner rather than later. Make sure my howitzers are still aiming at the sea warriors, which they are. Good, because they've got high morale, good melee stats. They're coming back again. Okay, good, I want you guys to rout. So you men can get out of square formation. And my infantry begin to... Oh, these garrison musketmen are going to hit my fusiliers. Just as an example of just how good fusiliers are in the shooting war. 56-52 accuracy versus 14-25 for regular infantry. And they even outshoot my uh, experience 3 infantry. Raw fusiliers are better than level 3 um, <laughs> infantry. So they're going to be tempted to go for my fusiliers. So drop you guys in the square. I don't even need to use my cavalry at that point. Point blank. Ah, too bad. Because of Bashi are getting ready. So we're going to try and reload. Grenadiers, get ready.
few men in limbo, get my howitzers to aim at the horsemen because the skirmish war is a bit frustrating. Although I might push my cavalry up to the left. My cavalry here is holding more than anything. These grenadiers can counter charge the Sikh warriors. Garrison musket men look like they want to get involved. You men charge the armed populace. Okay, you men get involved. Get my grenadiers to attack the horsemen. My hussars keep pushing howitzers, target those camels to the rear. Make sure my general's up close, get my grenadier guards up here. The rest of my line's engaging as normal. Whoa, except for the right flank, you men dropping a square, cavalry, parump, parump. You guys routed. Owen's all in. No! You can form up and engage the enemy. The Ellies are deploying on the right flank. I'm hoping my squares will do the job here. Zamandari engaging my Val Dragoons. You men are going to have to get involved in this scrap. You guys are going to drop into square. My hussars are going to hit the garrison musketmen. Get my howitzers firing round shot onto the centre. You guys are still forming square. I probably want my... I will eventually want my howitzers... I will eventually want my howitzers actually doing other stuff. Oh and Zolan hit the horsemen. My infantry to push up into the rear of that combat. If we can beat the garrison musketmen with my hussars, that would be quite the coup. You guys are bouncing between my squares, which hopefully will work out for me. Okay, good. Howitzers get involved. Cavalry get involved. Come on, you guys. Get over here. My flanks are crumbling. You guys need to smack into this unit of Kizilbashi into the rear. We might counter charge the camels because they'd be quite a good get if we can kill them. Howitzers focus on the general's bodyguard. Hussars push into the garrison musketmen. Looks like our right flank is crumbling. Okay, enemy general. That's the enemy general knocked out, which has got to be good for us in the long run. My cavalry is taking much longer to kill their cavalry than I'd like. My hussars are upset from the Indian mercenaries. Are you men all focus on the enemy over here. Good. Keep. You guys just keep them busy. Use this square, just tangle with those two units for a while. My general has fallen. Now get my Hohenzollern Curassier to push. Okay, you guys form up. My horns all in attack the garrison musketeers. Try to see if you can knock them out. My general staff is routed. Get my cavalry on the move and we'll try to knock out their guns. Unsurprisingly, my right flank's gone really to pot quite quickly. You men all garrison charge the Kizilbashi, howitzers attack Sikh warriors. You guys get out of dodge. Push you guys up here, get my cavalry to go after the cannons. 
You guys probably have to charge the mercenaries. You guys are just blobbed at this point. Not a good outcome, actually, this one. This goes to show how valuable having field artillery is in the, in the battle line to help prevent your line from getting just mobbed by superior Indian melee troops. If they go for my guns, that's not a bad outcome. Hey, my cavalry's here. So form you guys up to begin engaging the enemy line. The camels aren't charging. You guys try charging Seek Musketeers, they're gonna charge my cowards, there's no worries. Curiosier engaged 101st. Hmm. Well, this is my first battle of the session. Those ones usually go a bit awry. But yeah, I think fundamentally, I just got mobs. Mobbed by too much stuff to kill. And the infantry th themselves weren't enough. So this army is going to fight to the death. Or as close to the death as they can get. You guys form square. You'll fire. You'll still fire ahead, but you'll also fire into the flank against those against those elephants. Those Sikh musketeers are quite uh, potent. I'm just surprised how poorly my cavalry did against their skirmish cavalry. I mean, it's skirmish cavalry. Especially got <laughs> fusiliers left. I mean, most of my grenadiers weren't doing any shooting, but they were actually ordered to do. Uh, melee charges anyway, so that's not hugely significant. But yeah, I think fundamentally that was my... that was the, the risk, or well, the problem there, is not having uh, the foot artillery to provide the devastating morale-destroying uh, effects that they can provide. Just go for the mercenaries. Force the end, force the battle to be over. charge in, go out with a bang, so to speak. I have to re rebuild an army for the north, but that should be doable. And one thing I definitely need to do, add artillery. Yeah, these guys are, they're done for their guns. I think they've still got, uh, these are the, re the reinforcing guns. I mean, yeah, like, uh, no. Now we got mobbed, the reinforcements will be quite significantly more impactful. There we go. <laughs> I need artillery. Foot artillery. Valiant defeat. Well, unless we got valiant defeat, not you're such a effing idiot defeat. Mm, that's 3,000. I mean, they're going to chase... I mean, if they don't... Well, they won't chase us down. But if we can get the core of our army back to the mainland... That's still actually quite a coup. Plus we get a reasonable amount of cash, 27,000. Good. So let's get my... Wait, what? <laughs> Jakob Wiener. I know it's Wiener, probably Wiener, but what ifs? Let's get you into port. So the main thing to watch out for is the fact that they can now advance across... Uh, or can they? If we put you here. Your uh, Yeah, your control zone covers that straight. There we go, so we're back to being secure. Let's take a Grenadier unit, recruit a general from there. Keep the general Sigismund Steinheil. We're going to disband the general staff, the former one. Replenish, and we're going to recruit. Horse guard artillery. You didn't bet on that, did you? How many of those can we recruit? Ten, isn't it? Ten, yes. Okay. So let's get one of those, and then a unit of 12s as per usual, plus howitzer, howitzer, plus curacier, plus 
Lancer Guard unit plus a Hohenzollern unit plus two units of... or well, three units of bog standard infantry. There we go. Port blockaded, port of pay. Yeah, you can do that if you like. Upgrade the roads. I think we probably want to upgrade the port. Yeah, they're not exporting all of their goods, which will only get worse as we upgrade our production capacity, production capabilities. It's probably the same in Santo Domingo. Oh no, they're exporting. I suppose they have two ports there. Okay, so you've got a race built galleon. Build two fourth rates and start to build up a bit of a Caribbean squadron. Hop back to Europe just to see if there's any quick wins in terms of industry like this. That's a quick win. Still sieging over here at Turin. So do a bit of replenishment there. Ah, uh, yes. The Spanish with their militia army. So first of all, Mr. Frankfurter is going to auto the capture of Nassau, because why the hell not? Let's take a unit of militia over to Grand Bahama and repair the government building, because that will add an extra coffee plantation to our trade empire. I mean, uh, yeah, because that pirate ship is blockading our port, that's actually a lot of our trade is being interdicted. But these two units are now combined. But I want to go back here. Take Franz Lauter's force and Sally to engage this militia army from Spain. Because you've actually got quite a good opportunity here to take northern Italy and the Spanish and the Italian peninsula away from the Spanish, which will then add some much some much more valuable, a very highly sought after tax base. The territories including Naples, oh my god damn I love Naples. Naples is a very very wealthy region later on in the game. Yeah, unlike the first battle, this is going to be mostly militia, so doesn't really matter how depleted your army's going to be. They're militia, and we are going to advance and take the battle to them. My 12s are going to be on this high ground back here. Firing from range. So let's create my grenade. Put my engineers plus marines on the left. And I'm also going to put my own militia on the left. Remaining elites on the right. Split up our cavalry. General in the centre. Let's knock them out. Yeah, it looks imposing, but it's militia. It does not take many volleys to knock them down, especially when you remember we can put out firepower much more efficiently than they can. Ooh, okay. So my militia are going to be slightly exposed, but not overly on the right flank, because they do have a Hussar unit backing them up. No matter how it does engage pretty much whoever they feel like they want to engage. Yeah, Provincial Cavalry, that's not scary. Provincial Cavalry is pretty low grade. They're, they're very very weak cavalry that don't do very well against any sort of opposition. Okay, we want to advance rapidly because the enemy is rejigging their formation, which means if we advance we should get a series of volleys off before the enemy can actually respond. And on the right flank, at least, we want to push up our troops up on the flank a bit. There we go. So I wrap the edge around. Hey! So there's going to be a bit of a gap in our lines as we attack the second regiment of artillery. There we go. So now... Actually, I want to get my general involved in this as well. 
Yeah, the, the enemy militia is actually yeah, pretty pretty knackered actually because they're not in position to engage us, nor can they really respond to what's going on. At least on the left, on the right, it's a bit different. They're pushing the gap in our lines, but the 50th can drop into square if needs be. But again, they are just provincial cavalry. Come on, you men. Keep on advancing, push out the cavalry. There you go. So they charge an infantry unit. Cavalry hit the militia. We're not overly worried about making sure we wipe out the enemy troops in the field. Hello, melee battle, eh? Let's do this. I've got my cavalry on this flank. I don't know why, my right arm feels like it's not it's got as much. My range of motion's not quite so good. You men, you men charge the 17th militia. I mean, look at this. That's just a massive rout because they're militia, fundamentally. That's, that's their only problem. They're militia. So pick everyone who isn't cavalry. Push on because everyone else is going to break and run. Including this militia. So let's turn these guys guard mode off. So once the battle is over, they should chase after them. Pursue and destroy. Is this militia withstood a charge from the 10th foot guards, but they will rapidly go down. These grenadiers are going after the general's bodyguard. My hussars are going after the 18th regiment behind the lines. Go on, get through to the general. Don't worry about these fellows. There, yes. The perpetual issue about routing armies too well. They do like to come back. There we go. Cease fire the guns. They couldn't help but be drawn into this fight here against the third light horse. But I will trap them against my infantry and line infantry guards. My Prushnik horse. Prushenk horse. It's Prushenk going to kill the 29th. Only the infantry done for. Let's try kill the general. Wherever he is. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. No, he's 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 covered. He's in, get, he's, he's in a combat with... No. Pursue him, Hussars. Yeah, get a cheeky shot into the rear there. The, hey, that's a lot of guys to come back. I'm not going to change the outcome there. And it does show that more cavalry would be useful. Let's get my general back to safety. right flank and my gunners firing at range oh the ninth foot guards are just would just love it if you decided to push they really would but they don't mind if you want to get shot at it's a lot of dead men the artillery shots are landing yep 
Well, there they go. As quickly as they formed up, they were pushed back. They got so close to the edge of the map, actually, before they routed. General's bodyguard go after them. You guys turn around. So General's bodyguard pursue them. The Freikor cease fire. There we go. Now they're going to rout. Hey, look at that. They stayed, held their ground once more. I mean, the 35th. Like, you aren't going to stay for very long. Well, no, they did rout. Fours. Yeah. So, routing flags. More cavalry would have been good, but I'll accept the defeat of the Spanish army in the field. That's a lot of men lost for Spain. Bye bye. So, the question is probably. No, not barracks. It's better to repair. Okay, let's get the Opera House and the barracks recruit or replenish as many men as possible because this army wants to drive south towards Rome. These troops here can chase down those guys. Yeah, just wipe them out. And then combine your strength. There we go. You may go back to Munich. The cavalry awaits. They may decide to march to protect their their uh, French friend. In terms of Genoa, who are you friendly with? Spain and France. Okay, safe to say that they too will feel my wrath. But apart from that, obviously you are Mr. Barber. You're going to be holding your position. You may end up going attacking Reykjavik, or you may actually be a second wave against Copenhagen. We can't allow that loss to stand, no sir. Although that is what you're trying to do. Hmm, what to do with you? Oh no, you're going to you're going to land at Lisbon, weren't you? Yes, you were. So in terms of technologies, some good construction. Good tax buildings, good trade bu trade building done, diamond formation, bit of a waste of a research point. Um, do you want fire in advance? Plus one training level for infantry is good. But more income is better potentially. Let's go for light infantry doctrine to get Jaeger. No, maybe go fire in advance. We don't do the drill. I don't think the drill works in the Empire Total War. Well, no, it might do. It's, it's platoon firing that doesn't work. Yeah. No, but the plus one for infantry training level isn't bad. It means that it's just a flat upgrade across the board. Heroic death. Sigmund Peters. Bad luck, old boy. But apart from that, it's pretty good. So let's hit in 10. And let's see how the enemy responds. I mean, is it worth fighting now? Probably not. Bye bye. Ooh, they're going to try and push me again, are they? Bringing up reinforcements from the south. Very well. But again, it's mostly regular infantry. And we've and mostly regular infantry and militia. And we've got two units of field artillery. So unlike the uh, previous engagement where I lost quite badly against the Mughal Empire, um, their infantry isn't going to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against my battle line. So let's form our defensive position. Good raised ground here. Don't like using the built-in um, deployable defences for artillery. So if you think about it, these guys have quite a wide firing arc, but as soon as you do that, they really don't. It's easy to manoeuvre around, so I like keeping them like that. It's 
probably pick a couple more just to build up my right flank a bit although actually get you guys under cover let's then take two units of good infantry deploy behind trenches again I've got this wall which is sort of useful but not really units plus a line infantry guard unit to hold the right flank engineers first of all deploy stakes ahead of the guns preventing a cavalry charge you'll also deploy your stakes so you guys are deployed we've got reinforcements which to be honest the smart thing to do is probably to just Scatter them around in front of my line with these things here. Cavalry hold back as a reserve, same with the general. Yeah, they don't have much cavalry, but may as well use it. You guys could, if I had skirmishes up here, would be perfect because they'd be able to shoot probably about this far and pick people off in front of my line before um, well without having to worry about friendly fire quite so much make sure my militia units are the ones behind cover which kind of sounds a bit backwards I appreciate it. there we go stakes Deployed. So that's quite a significant uh, let's see, cavalry position. So then let's get my guns. So you're the right hand unit. Although too much, you can probably engage as you like. There's nothing really coming. There's artillery and so on coming in. For the reinforcements, but again, it's militia, militia, pikemen, which is nice. Some demi cannons. Really, the enemy is diffused, working their way through the town, so that when they hit our line, it will be one unit at a time. Uh, so where is their artillery? Still not in range. I mean, understandably, they're taking their time to get here, and I might even put a second, put another unit of infantry on the flank, just to add their firepower. Hey, cavalry, eh? Get my engineers and stuff over here. See if I can lure them into attacking me. I can just deploy into squares. My infantry is ready for the scrap, so it's the 26th regiment that are walking into my sights. First volleys. The regiment of militia behind them is the one that's actually wavering. Well, the infantry unit that walked into my fire. I go to the 26th and that unit of militia. My engineers are going to form up ready to shoot at the cavalry. It would appear that our they are going to just position around our cavalry defences. That's the general's bodyguard, so let's deploy to go get him. Get my square to cease fire. You can cease fire, but get out of square position on the flank. Meanwhile, their right wing hasn't even got to our position yet. We've killed their general. 
You Spanish fool. Why did you even declare war on us? This did not need to happen. Let's see if we can kill it. There we go, got them to shatter. Ooh, hello. You want to gauge the infantry? Come at us, regiment of horse. That was your first mistake. Hey, mine went off. Yeah, they're shattered. Poor devils. They're broken, they're going to focus on the 32nd, and then they're going to go down. Meanwhile, on the right flank, 34th Regiment of Militia, I think they're being very, very sneaky. You may aim for the 23rd. Actually, you aim for the 27th. You aim for the 23rd. It's very dangerous walking into the cannon fire. These two units are going to slightly reposition. Might even bring another unit of engineers over. Just to shore up the flank. So position my cavalry forward to try and see if we can shatter this regiment of militia. You men cease fire. Taking some losses from the 26th to the north, but not enough. Broken. Go on, shatter them. There they go, they're shattered. Back you men go. The militia are routing. The line infantry are upset. As are the 23rd. Keep firing round shots, just don't want to micromanage. Actually, there's no one to shoot at, so you guys could aim at the first regiment of artillery in the distance. Yeah, frankly. We're going to keep our defensive position, thank you very much. Militia, 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 militia. Gun team that's now under fire from my guns. It's time to send in some more infantry support, but it's not enough. And the 27th are going to be routed from my tremendous amount of musket fire. I couldn't kill this guy at the back. So the officer's alive, his little <laughs> drummer boys. Out of the out of action. I always like watching the officer. Oh, oh no, there he is. Nah, he's out of here. Which means this re regiment of infantry will then retarget the 34th, which will be good. You men just blast central mass of troops heading your way. Yeah, they're shaken. Ooh, we're getting some good hits on these militiamen in the centre. They are not going to be keen to continue their advance for too long. Before, when these guys eventually route, we could bring this left flank around like here. The militia aren't engaging my engineers, it's my engineers that are really doing the damage. Bit of a defilade. Okay, you men, canister shot the 23rd. 
this set of guns can begin canister shotting the eighth, because that's a lot of Spanish troops. At close range. Kill two militiamen. There you go, the grenadiers are getting ready. Nope. Fired off one volley, killed a grenadier. The blast, the canister shot. No, they stuck around. You guys, round shot, 28th Regiment of Militia. Shaken and wavering. They're, eh, the 27th Regiment, when they route, they might actually stay routed because they've lost quite a lot of men. Oh, yes, advance closer. That's going to help you. There we go. And you men are both engaged in militia, and that'll be fine. Target the 36th. Vish. They're shattered after losing 45 men. Blast this regiment, because even though they're routing, I don't know, maybe you'll shatter them. Shattered, yep. Very well. Begin our own advance. my general over here just to make sure they don't decide to stick around. We can engage in that militia block again with artillery fire. Push out my cavalry. I mean they are bringing in some troops to reinforce but now they're all they are very much out on a limb. My militia units are probably going to... Actually, I'm not sure, actually, whether they'll open up on the 28th or onto the 23rd. Canister shot them. Oh. Yep, the 23rd it is. Okay, this gun... Aim at their guns with a round shot. Pick up... Our infantry push forward. You men also engage their guns at range with round shot. Get my. Whoa, not everyone. Bring my line infantry into the center, militia on the flank. Go on, abandon your square formation. You have Bavarians to shoot at. Hopefully, yeah, they've routed two, which means these chaps can continue their advance towards where Spain are bringing troops in. Ooh. Pikemen, eh? Line infantry guards will have a go. New men both attack that militia with this engineer unit. Bring this line infantry unit across. Get this line infantry and get them to uh, get them away from that combat. Yeah, there we go. See pikemen. If you surround them, they they fall pretty quick. You really don't want to abandon their square formation. Put people in the town for now. Yeah, you guys are taking them out. Let's worry about positioning them in the town later. Just get them up there. Oh, sorry, men. I wonder they were lasting so long. They weren't actually engaging them. It's probably got something to do with it. Human ride down the 26th. Put 
push up our right flank. Our left flank, sorry. No, just advance. Don't attack anyone. You attack the 27th. You guys continue to push. Okay, you men advance up to this choke point here. Two units of infantry push up to here. You men all run. Give them run order to about here. There we go. Yeah, you continue to attack the 26th, may as well. You men get involved, cease fire the guns. So, the 18th Regiment is, well, receiving a lot of fire at close range. Yet, yeah, they are no longer happy. My gunners get to both aim at the 24th. Try charge the 25th. But we'll see where that goes. I know one of these militia units is going to go for the demi cannons, I know that much. And these infantry units are going to push forward. There we go, my cavalry routed that infantry unit. Everyone else just run forward because we've got a militia unit coming in. They're not entirely sure what they want to do. Demi cannons are running, but they're running limbered. So my militia will be able to chase them and kill them. There they go. Then advance onward into the 25th regiment. I don't think there's anyone else coming. No one left to save you, Spain. goes the 25th. Killed the general. Well, this was there. Was this the general's unit? Must have been. Poor souls have a general and a militia unit. Nevertheless, though, that's a victory for our forces. And again, we've held Venice for yet another turn against another Spanish army. That's a lot of casualties for them. Nearly 10 to 1 in our favour. But yes, we are going to want to push south from Venice. Just auto that. <laughs> Back you go. So much so that... Ooh, don't do it, Poland. Don't do it, Ottomans. I know you want to try. I know you want to try. I desperately know you want to try. You took great my universities in general as well, across the board. Although, I only, I only really need to upgrade one. Technology adva advantage is pretty handy, but there's only really a handful of key ones you need. Including fire by rank and the advanced physiocracy technologies. The rest of them are kind of... Eh. Well, not eh. They're all kind of incremental gains. They're not necessarily game changers. Yes, New Spain. Good on you. You're going to go pick up an army and deploy it somewhere else. Uh, don't accept the attack. Let them push us out. Just because my army was knackered, at least with reinforcements, it should be able to clear them out and blockade the port once again. Yeah. It will be a matter of priority to start to knock out some of these pirate fleets. Especially that fleets like that. Twenty-eight thousand. Twenty-eight thousand even with the block even with the blockades, that's not bad. Building constructed Iron Master's works in Bavaria, good stuff. Then my fleet's gonna go up to Aarhus to maintain the blockade. 
you guys aren't really in great shape to stop them still. But stop them you will attempt. You guys might even push up there to back them up. So you men continue to replenish. Let's rebuild the government building. Let's rebuild the Admiralty. Let's rebuild the Cannon Foundry. You have an enemy agent inside the port, which we're not bothered about. We're going to build a sloop to occupy this port and one to occupy this port. Um, let's upgrade the mine. Upgrade the craft workshop. You can take position to the south. Mr. Speckbacker fall back to central Germany, where he can refit with more troops. Upgrade my governor's mansion, upgrade... No, not my governor's palace yet. So you're still blockading the French, they're going to be out of it soon. Upgrade a great arsenal here. You are upgrading, which is good. My mouse is getting this weird double click thing again. Huh. Uh, okay, hop over to the Americas. Let's upgrade the dockyard to a dry dock. Give us access to third rates somewhere. Admiral's flagship third rates. Privateer captains, heavy frigates, rocket ships. They'd be handy, but we've still got our fourths. No, not an Admiral's flagship. Get a couple of fifth rates. Okay. One more turn and you'll get back you'll be backed up. Confident general or soldier from birth, that's pretty neat. 38 Hundo though, we probably want to focus on um, income or sink a bunch of it in replenishing this army. Still have enough to upgrade some uh, industry, such as this prosperous iron workshop. Because ultimately these guys aren't going to be going out to much trouble. This force will want replenishment and resupply. Because they're also going to have to fight Genoa and also fight Milan. Although, to be honest, do you just... Obviously they, do, obviously they don't accept the surrender because it's their last territory. Turin is ours. Just because it gets rid of the enemy uh, army that was wandering around here. Let's send our spy down towards central Italy. Let's see what they've got left down here, which the answer is probably not much. But that's France knocked out, which means obviously got the Kingdom of Quebec and a whole lot of pirate regions. So you guys need to get back up to speed pretty ricky tick. And also build a sloop. Sloops galore. That's what it needs to be in the Americas. Okay, let's end turn. It might transport an army somewhere. Yeah, like that. I mean, we're going to auto that. Chop. Yeah. <laughs> So if the army is sure enough to rebuild the city, the government building, then we can uh, begin trying to build some garrison troops. And we can also try and consolidate our position in Italy by advancing a garrison in Venice south towards Rome. That would be the ideal scenario, but it does leave us open to the Ottomans advancing against Venice from the east. Yeah, the Russians are making... Making it very clear they don't necessarily like us sticking around. But that's okay. Just keep expanding in the Americas. Keep building up our trade base. And the next time they want war, we can bring it decisively to their shores. And yes, Louisiana is going to come in and break the blockade for us. There is so much. There is gold in the Americas. We need to take it with both hands. 
might even recruit some extra troops in Cuba and split my army in the Bahamas in two. One to go for Jamaica, one to go for Guyana. But it very much depends on what's being left there, really. It's a lot of pirate but anything else is this is what they do. Every turn they generate ships. Let's machine tools research. Let's repair the building in Turin. Port blockaded, port blockaded. Building constructed. Brandenburg. It's got a weaver's, weaver's cottage. Let's immediately upgrade that. Good. Suddenly this force that was on its own and looking quite vulnerable. Actually, don't look so vulnerable. Although you only need four units. Could probably do with having some more interesting infantry. You guys can rendezvous with Mr. Spedbacker. Push forward and just destroy that little force there in the dock. I don't mind if it costs us troops. We're going to replenish and then we're going to sit. I'm going to destroy the university. We're going to move my ship down to Lübeck and then hop back to the Americas yeah race built galleon although I probably want to keep a militia unit in Holguin let's send some of my ships out to go oh it's just a Jebek didn't even sink it we just pushed it away no, I freed it up. Yeah, let these other ships be built. I mean, they would knock out on a race book galleon, but there's no, there's no rush to risk troops yet. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I've got a heavy artillery unit. So we'll pull one of our infantry units out and probably push them south. I doubt... You chaps can leave Savoy yet. Minus 12, certainly not. We'll agree with the theatre. Stay in. Let's rebuild the sloop. Then let's properly spend our money on replenishing this army. Upgrade the barracks, upgrade the opera house. Do we build fortifications? Potentially as a strategic investment against the Ottomans trying to break out to the west. I think that would be a good idea. Well, let's repair, repair the mines, upgrade the farm. Good. Okay, Poland at some point is going to try it again, but that's a pretty poor army. Provincial cavalry and a bunch of skirmishers. Yeah, don't fancy your chances there, especially against my. Pretty elite troops waiting in the east. Should probably, well maybe that's what this chap's going to go for. He's going to he's going to recruit to deploy down towards Madrid at the same time where Alzafaba is going to hit Lisbon. That might be quite good. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Bavaria. Cheers, everyone.